Okay, here we have 1.6 solving an absolute value equation problem type 2. Now here I already have what's in the bars by itself. There's nothing being added, subtracted on the outside, and nothing being multiplied or divided outside the bars. So immediately I'm going to jump to the three different cases. And since this is a positive number, that I'm going to take what's on the inside and set it equal to the positive value. And then again, what is on the inside equal to the negative value. And then I would start to solve this equation. And then on the same thing on the other side, except the answer won't be the same because what was on the right hand side is not exactly the same. So then I get two answers, one and seven. Now over here, we have it equal to zero, which means I don't need to do the positive and the negative because there's no such thing as negative zero. So I'm just gonna take what's on the inside and equal it to zero and then solve. And so we get one answer and that answer is four. Finally, for the last one, I have absolute value bars already by itself, but we know the absolute value of anything can never be a negative. So in this case, the answer is just no solution.